Hi, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, I have a very special 2024 reading project announcement. All right, y'all, now that Bookmas is in full swing, we are nearing the end of the year. That means there's a lot of content and reading planning going on for next year. And so I was kind of going through the challenges and projects that I did for 2023, kind of thinking what I wanted to change, what I wanted to keep the same, and what I could potentially introduce to make reading more interesting in the 2024 year, while also still being allowed to read what I want to read. And so I have come up with a project that is basically going to be inspired by y'all. Y'all are going to have a say in a lot of the books that I read in 2024 because this project is called Reading Like My Subscribers. And it's basically exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to give you the opportunity to recommend up to five books to me. Now, these books are not meant to be anything that you think that I'm going to love. Although, of course, I'm certainly going to appreciate if you recommend books to me that you think I'm going to love. But really, this is about what you love. This is about your favorite books. These are going to be books that you personally have loved dearly. So five stars, all-time favorites, books that you think everybody should read, books that you just really, really loved and that you want to share. So that's what this project is about. So I'm actually going to be doing this project instead of a standard like 24 in 2024 project. I did a 23 in 23 project where I had a list of 23 books that I wanted to try to read by the end of the year. And I was thinking about bringing that back for 2024. But in all honesty, I couldn't really think of 24 books that I felt the need to prioritize. Sure, I could have included just 24 books on my own TBR. Or sure, I could have just included a lot of the sequels to series that I'm a part of. But I did really feel like any of those fit high priority status. Do I want to get to them and make them a priority in 2024? Absolutely. I want to make good progress on whittling down my physical TBR and closing out some of the series, but I didn't really feel like it needed to be a project because I've been doing so good on them in 2023 and making so much progress that I didn't really feel like a special challenge or project needed to be included in order for me to continue making progress. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and introduce this new series. So this new series is going to do a couple of things. First of all, it's going to introduce me to books that I might not otherwise have picked up on my own. So it's going to get me outside of my comfort zone. It's also going to get me a little bit more connected to you and what y'all like to read. And so that's why this project is called Reading Like My Subscribers. And here's how it's going to work. It's going to be very, very simple. All you have to do if you would like your recommendations to be included in this project is leave me a comment down below with up to five of your all-time favorite books. Now, how you choose these books is completely up to you. Like I said, these could just be books that are literally your all-time favorites. Books that when anybody asks you what your favorite books are, these are the books that you tell them. Or they could be books that you specifically want me to read that you have enjoyed. Maybe they're not your all-time favorite, but maybe you just want to see me read them. You are absolutely welcome to determine your own criteria for what books you choose to recommend me in the comments below. Now, I kind of hemmed and hawed as to how I was going to make the selections on the books that I actually read. Originally, what I was wanting to do is, since this is kind of replacing my 24 in 24, and my goal is to ultimately read at least 24 of y'all's favorite books, I wanted at least 24 in individual people to make comments of their five favorite books. And then from those comments, I would select one book that I would basically add to my TBR for the year. But I feel like that gives me a lot of choice and I really don't want that to be the case. So what I am still hoping for is for a lot of different people to comment and put their favorite books. And assuming I haven't read them, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking all of your suggestions and I'm going to be putting them in my handy dandy challenge cup. If y'all watch my monthly TBRs, you are very familiar with this guy because prior to my TBR gameplay, play every single month, I pull at least three challenges from this mug. Now this mug currently contains a bunch of things. First, it contains every single one of my own physical TBR books. This also contains a sequel to every single series that I'm currently reading, again, so that I can continue to make progress in those series. And it also contains very specific challenge prompts. Throughout 2023, I was participating in several different reading challenges. And so I would go ahead and throw the challenge prompts in here to make sure that, again, I was prioritizing those challenges. I primarily put in here the challenge prompts that I knew I was not going to be able able to easily satisfy just in the normal course of my reading. And so that's basically exactly how this is going to stay. It's going to stay all of my physical TBR, it's going to contain all of the sequels, it's going to contain challenge prompts for the 2024 reading challenges that I'm a part of, and it's also going to now include all of the books that y'all comment that you want me to read. Now again, I'm really hoping that a lot of y'all will decide to participate because the whole goal of this is to read like as many of my subscribers as I possibly can. So I very much hope that at least 24 of you will comment down below with 
with some of your favorite books. And like I said, if I have not read them already or haven't DNF'd them, I will put them in this and it will be part of the polls that I make every single month prior to playing my TBR game. So that is the plan, y'all. I know that this was a super quick, short video, but I just wanted to come on here and do an announcement for this project and give y'all plenty of time to leave your comments down below because this is going to go into effect for my January TBR. And so I need to have as many recommendations from you as possible so that I can put them in my challenge cup prior to making my January TBR video, which will be made um, near the end of December. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get this out as early as possible. So if you would like to have a little bit of control over what I read in 2024, please be sure to leave that comment down below with your five favorite books that you would like me to consider reading for 2024. And that's it, y'all. That is all that I have for this video. As always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I am participating in Bookmas, and so for the next 25 days, you are going to be getting one video every day, hopefully, of content for me. And so if you are interested in seeing what's to come, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any of that content. I sure love connecting with all of you in all of my videos and on any of my other social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below along with all of the books that I talk about in each video. And until next time, y'all.